Members of the Bring Back Our Girls group continued with their campaign for the release of the remaining missing 195 Chibo girls. The Ikeja shopping mall is the point of departure as they march along with chants of redemption songs towards the governor's office with the campaign slogan, Three Years is Too Long. On getting closer to the rallying point, the group is intercepted with barricades by security operatives. Apart from the release of the remaining Chibok girls, the group is also demanding for security of lives in general and school children in particular. We want safety in our schools, but we want government to be responsible and accountable for every Nigerian child. But, and that includes not just in the northern part of the country, across the whole country. So we need results. We need to see the girls. Three years is too long. The protesters feel disappointed as the governor fails to show up after an agreed 9 a.m. appointment. But they would not relent until they get a response from the Lagos state government. We had sent a letter earlier and the letter was acknowledged. It wasn't long before the Commissioner for Special Duties gets to the scene. He affirms that the Lagos state government stands with a Bring Back Our Girls campaign in fighting for the release of the remaining missing Chibok girls. The federal government, especially under President Buhari, has not sat back and been different to the plight of these girls. But it wouldn't make much sense until we rescue the very last girl. The question now is, how much longer will the innocent girls remain in captivity? Clearly, nothing more will be cheerful to this group, and indeed all Nigerians, than for the remaining girls to be rescued alive and eventually reunited with their families.